everybody, how's it going? My name is Amar Secor, and we're back with some more Lore of the Things. So, we've gone over quite a bit at this point. So, we've gone over the one and two star weapons, we've gone over the three star swords, claymores, and pole arms. But, there is still more to go of the three star stuff, and honestly, I really like some of the lore that's been written in. Before we jump into it, make sure you go and subscribe to our channel, because it really does help us out and I'm able to bring you more content like this and other content as I do stream uh, weekly. Well, not once per week, but like I stream usually multiple times per week, but I, I, I do a lot, I promise. Anyway, first up of the uh, books and the catalysts, we have the Magic Guide. Version 12, a reprint featuring corrections to version 11 and a brand new additions based on recent developments. This version of the Magic Guide generated much controversy when published. In addition to the defiance of basic common sense seen in Chapter 7, Principles of the Animo Element, errors can also be observed even concerning the basic principles of the Hydro and Electro Elements, Evidently, the book was not peer-reviewed before publishing. Nevertheless, this book is still the most authoritative guide to magic in existence. That's very interesting. So, there was a book released for magic users in Tevat that did not get peer review. So, this was a hastily made book. It was rushed and it was not... Wow, that's very cool. Next up, we have The Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. This one's a very well-known three-star book, as if you have Barbara, you are putting this book on her more than likely. Uh, and a couple of other HP book slash catalyst users. But this is definitely one of the best three-star weapons by far. And honestly, I really like the design of the book itself. Like, look at that little back, that little back piece. Ugh, I would love to have that. A fictional story of a band of five heroes who go off on a dragon hunt. It is poorly written and structurally incoherent. Its value lies in the many lessons that can be learned from failure. Five heroes embarked on a journey to slay the evil dragon. For honor, the master swordsman. For research, the knowledgeable sorceress. For bounty, the swashbuckling mercenary. For vengeance, the dead-eye marksman. For stories, the grand novelist. A lotus proceeds from my mouth and flowers bloom on the page. My words are wise and clear and my thoughts are sharp like lightning. I joined this party because I couldn't find a job and anybody can be a copywriter. <laughs> Oh my god. But I'm no writer, just a regular fellow in his mid-twenties without an honest job. So I'm publishing this book to make a little bit of money. Yes! I've hit capitalism where it hurts and puts money in my pockets! Next up, we have The Otherworldly Story. A cheap fantasy novel with no value whatsoever. Any claim that it possesses the power of, cata of catal catalysis is also pure fantasy. Oh, look at that little cover. It's got little squirrels on it. The mediocre work of fiction telling the tale of an ordinary fellow who finds himself in another world after death. The world is filled with dangers. Steel monsters as vast as galaxies lurk beneath the ground and devour people in the thousands. Okay, now without being interrupted by my Markiplier ringtone, that was a spam call. Uh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. There also exist powerful beings who can make rooms comfortable in any season and turn night into day with a snap of their fingers. This is a story as groundless as it is meaningless. It only shares one thing in common with the real world. Most of the precious metals are owned by a handful of individuals, who keep them locked up in the vault. You know, that actually sounds like it could be a very interesting story. Or like, just the kind of outline for the story. Very interesting. Probably not a great read, though. Next up, we have the Emerald Orb, one of the only two catalysts for the three-star weapons. 
A catalyst carved out of the hard jade from Juyan Karst, north of Liyue. Small, light, and durable, it is known more colloquially as the Jade Ball. A lightweight catalyst carved out of emerald green jade. It is durable and affordable, which makes it a popular item all around. Small, but exquisitely made, it is colloquially referred to by the people of Liyue as the Jade Ball. It is highly efficient, defensive catalyst, as well as a good-looking accessory. That, honestly, I will agree to. It looks pretty cool. Just It just does. Like, it kind of reminds me of uh, Saturn, just because that big ring that it has in the middle there. It's kind of going all wonky. I like it. Next up, and last but not least, we have the Twin Nephrite. Nephrite? Nephrite. A little bit of Taoist symbolism going on there. A jade pendant formed by piecing together two jade stones. A jade piece which, despite its exquisite packaging, has been placed in one of the latest prominent positions in the store. The box comes with an official-looking certificate of premium quality issued by an organization that no one has ever heard of. To the untrained eye, the luxurious packaging and accessories would probably be enough to lure one in. However, it is still reasonable value for money when compared to the genuine top quality jade pieces. So this is basically, that's fairly interesting. So not only is this something that magic users can use, but other people can just have as it's very decorative. And it does, in fact, look quite nice. And as I said, it's much more affordable than top end things. So this is more, again, for your common individual living in Tibet, especially if they live in Leeway, as this is an accessory that they can just kind of own more availably, I'll say. Like, they don't have to save up a ton of money for this. They can kind of just go to market, you know, once in a while and buy one of these. Very interesting. Very interesting. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like with a comment and subscribe if you want to see stuff similar to this. And we're going to see all of you in the next one that we do. Take care, everybody.